JD, thanks uh, for tossing over. Let's go ahead and introduce our big focus group who's with us again. Some of these faces you might recognize. Elaine Miller's with us, attorney. We got Glenn Downs, a former chief of staff, to uh, Walter Jones, congressman from uh, North Carolina. We got uh, Tom Watley, retired police detective. We got Dick Farrell back there, radio talk show host, who's appropriately dressed in the Christmas themed attire. Uh, Dick, nice uh, tie. We like that. Lisa Ruth, former CIA analyst, and Ed Pozzuoli, attorney uh, and political enthusiast as well. We just heard the soundbite in the exchange between uh, Jeb Bush and Donald Trump. And I think uh, by a show of hands, who felt like this was Jeb Bush's strongest debate performance thus far? Only two hands, uh, not a real strong performance. And I think we can all agree, as we heard from uh, John Zogby and Steve Mossberg and J.D. earlier, it's probably too late in the game for this to make a real significant impact in uh, Jeb Bush's campaign. It's probably over for him. But who was surprised by the kind of toned down, subdued approach to this attack that uh, Donald Trump employed? Show of hands again. And Glenn, why were you not surprised? Well, I, I guess not surprised isn't the, the, the correct way to put it. it, it more, it's that uh, it, I thought it was more, it came across to me as being a more of a deliberate strategy to be more presidential. I think that the fact that later on, deep into the debate, he said he foreswore the opportunity to go to an independent candidacy is, uh, indicates to me that he and his advisors think that his front rudder status is pretty well cemented. And now he's trying to appeal more presidential. And fran frankly, he came across to me as the calm one, strangely enough, throughout most of that debate, as other people were frantically scrambling to try to get some kind of ground somewhere uh, and getting something on somebody in, in their exchanges. And again, show of hands, who agrees uh, that, that Donald Trump came across as more presidential than he has in other debates tonight? Uh, kind of a mixed emotion. We'll, we'll check back in with our uh, group here in just a few moments. We're going to go ahead and send it to a commercial break. We're continuing with our special post-debate coverage here on Newsmax TV.